the U.S. government was taking too long, and they were tired of waiting. This stretch of border wall, just under a kilometer in length, was built by private American citizens. This wall is not about stopping immigration. This wall is about legal immigration. We want people to use the front door and come to this country legally. Um, there's no reason to use the back door. Built on private land, a grassroots conservative group raised more than $20 million to fund construction. They say they have President Trump's blessing, a solution to his administration's stalled efforts to use military money to build the wall. We don't believe that the wall works. But the private wall, built by far-right conservatives who came from across the U.S., lacks support from the local community where it is built. Leaders of Sunland Park, New Mexico, say the construction process may even have been illegal. They're hypocrites. They talk about um, coming in here illegally when they're breaking every law, every rule they can. We're now on the other side of the wall on Mexican territory. This line in the cement is the actual international boundary. And as you can see, the wall is built well into the U.S. side. So a migrant only needs to step over this line to make an asylum claim, and the wall would not physically stop them from doing that. But the wall is a psychological barrier, a sign to Robert Kabuya Motombo that he's not welcome. We found the father of three at a shelter in Juarez, Mexico. He's an electrician who fled civil war in the Congo, traveling three months to make it this far. It's not for our willingness we go there. It's our conditions is not good where we came from. That way we are looking for the good place. He's number 13,995 on the list of asylum seekers waiting for a turn to enter the U.S. legally at the nearby port of entry bridge. Even as U.S. forces display their might in practice drills intimidating to asylum seekers, Kabuya says that is the place he wants to cross. When it comes my day, I will go, but it's not ready. We're still waiting here. Is it difficult for you to wait here? I don't have a choice. He says he wants a chance to prove to the U.S. that he respects the country's laws, whether a wall guards it or not. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, on the U.S.-Mexican border.